if you need any Xbox or PlayStation codes or any cheap PC games, use the referral link in the description. It will take you over to G2A.com. They already have a discount on most of their goods. And if you use the code CHES at checkout, you can get yourself an extra 3% off as well. Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again and welcome to episode number 7 of the Wolfsburg career mode here on FIFA 16. If you enjoyed today's episode, then make sure you hit that like button. If we could hit close to 2,000 likes again, that would be absolutely incredible. As you can see, continuing to train our players and our youngsters. Manolo Gabbiadini growing nicely. As is Rodriguez continues to get A's and B's in training and really makes some, uh, some good headway when it comes to improving as a player. So he may be finding himself getting a little bit of rotation football over the next few days. Uh, Unfortunately, he's not going to be involved in games against Juventus or Real Madrid, but we may play him against Club Bruges in the Champions League. It depends whether we need points or not. Obviously, Juventus and Real Madrid are two of the best sides in Europe, so it's going to be a challenge to do uh, well and get out of this Champions League group. But they're starting a 4-1-2-1-2 here, Juventus, with Mandzukic up top alongside Morata, who's had a big upgrade actually this year. So he does look a very, very good player for Ultimate Team and Career Mode. Obviously, we were looking at him in this series, but uh, we couldn't quite find the funds to bring him in. We uh, wanted to kind of bring in a number of players that were of quality rather than just one guy that cost a lot and then, you know, a couple of fringe players. So I think we made the right decision in the transfer window to bring in the, the quality of players that we did and the number of players that we did. But uh, it will be a true test by the time we get to the end of the season to see whether that's actually worked or at least by the time we get to the January transfer window and hopefully have a little bit more money to spend thanks to uh, some prize funding from this Champions League competition. But Juventus had the first effort there, as you could see, through Mario Mandzukic. We're actually having the second here through Verinha, but... It, really wasn't the best head as you can see his reaction mine was pretty similar to be completely honest sat here playing at the time but Verinha was very heavily involved actually he's had his first team uh, opportunities kind of limited of late with uh, the introduction of Hakan Celanoglu to the first team but how we haven't scored here I don't know great shot from Celanoglu well saved drops to close uh, not closer cruiser and he hits the post with a follow-up header and then Scherler comes in all he's got to do is slot it home and he blasts it over the top of the bar again the in-game players reaction pretty similar to mine sat here with the controller in my hand absolutely flabbergasted that we haven't yet found a goal really nice move by Juventus here though cheeky little back here as well to send through Paul Pogba luckily for us though he hit it straight at Diego Benaglio and we were able to uh, to get it away but they continued to come forward Juve definitely the strongest test we've faced so far although there's another strong test coming a little bit later on in the episode as you could probably tell from the title but Alaba stands it up to Sami Kadira here obviously Alaba at uh, Juventus now thanks to his rather scripted transfer from Bayern Munich has happened in every single career mode that I've done so far this year but I'll try not to harp on about that continually as I know some of you are getting a little bit bored of the scripted transfer uh, frustrations but we had another good shot there from Chanololu. I thought actually it hit Max Cru uh, Max Cruiser but you can see him here he ducks right out of the way of it and it actually hits Lich Steiner on the, uh, on the underarm almost on kind of his midriff on the side underneath his arm but working it so nicely from the corner and it works absolutely perfectly I'll be honest, the initial drilled pass from the corner was meant to go directly to Scherler. As it worked out, though, it worked even better. We drilled it to the man on the edge of the six-yard box, who then laid it back to Scherler, which meant that, uh, you know, the defenders were drawn towards the man at the near post, which left even more space for Scherler to be able to run in, take his first touch, control himself, settle himself, smash it into the back of the net to give us a 1-0 lead. Into the second half, deeper we went, trying to get ourselves a second if we could. Verinha with a header, having a lot of headed chances here, and like I say, his first team chances have been limited of late because I've been moving Draxler out wide to the left so that I can play Chanololu at Cam and then sw switching Scherler from the left to the right. But now Verinha's having a chance on the right-hand side, seemingly taking it as well. Unfortunately, not been able to find the back of the net, but he has been very influential. So uh, he may be finding himself having a few more opportunities in the first team over the next few games. But uh, Ricardo Rodriguez from left back is pushing forward here up against Sami Kadira, taking him on uh, a merry dance. They're just twisting and turning to get away from him. Marquisio gets the tackle in but Danny Caligiuri finds Taliso on the edge of the box who came on as a substitute draws a good save out of Buffon wasn't able to extend our lead but we are able to come away with a 1-0 victory now had this been last year I'd have said that probably was against uh, the way that you would have thought the game would have gone but actually in real life this year Juventus are really struggling same as Chelsea 13th in the table for uh, Serie, in Serie A for Juve in real life right now 
and uh, although that may have changed if they've played this afternoon, but obviously I think the majority of games in Serie A are played on a Sunday, so they probably are still sat 13th in the Serie A table, so perhaps us travelling away and taking advantage of their poor form is quite realistic, so we will definitely take a 1-0 victory against Juve in a very tough Champions League group to set us off to a perfect start. Can we, though, continue our half-decent start in the Bundesliga? You saw the league table a moment ago. We're pushing towards the top four and towards that top spot, but we come with, uh, well, actually, we don't go anywhere. They're coming to us. It's Hertha Berlin travelling to uh, to Wolfsburg to take us on here. They've got Salomon Kalou up top. So, obviously, as a Chelsea fan, I know all about Salomon Kalou, so I know what to expect from him. Good pace, good dribbling, the occasional, you know, fantastic finish but we uh, didn't necessarily need a fantastic finish there it was just a simple tap in good initial save from the goalkeeper but he really should have done better when it comes to uh, pushing it safe just palmed it straight into the path of Tolisso starting for the first time I think Tolisso actually here and getting a goal on his full debut as well good effort by Fakir the Fakir has been so good since we brought him in honestly he scored two goals in the last game of the last episode he continues to be a thorn in the side of any particular opposition we're playing. Really nice football here, though. Salomon Clue clean through one on one, decides to square it to Valentin Stocker, and he misses the target. They tried to sweat me and failed. Screw you, CPU. Trying to, they're almost playing as if you were playing online there. I thought Salomon Clue was just going to tidily slot that through in a one on one, but Taliso with a great strike there. He's really high on confidence right now after getting that first goal and coming off the bench in the game against Juventus and having a decent effort or two as well. Hitting the outside of the post there. Still going in the first half though. Plenty of chances here. Luis Gustavo lifts it back over to Gabbiadini. Keeper again should have done better. Perhaps he was too concerned with rushing out there to have his feet planted to react quickly to the shot from Manolo Gabbiadini. He's only got a three-star weak foot and he is left-footed but decent shot power and you can see that there from the shot on his three-star weak foot on his right-hand side to give us a 2-0 lead. We come close there through Julian Draxler to a third just after the break. Perhaps you, should have, you could say he should have done better with that Julian Draxler. Back in in that cam slot for uh, for this game rather than out wide on the left and they come oh so close to making it 3-0 accidentally there the keeper perhaps was at fault for uh, the second goal as well as the first and almost at fault for a third there his first touch was so bad almost let it roll across the line and in for a rather embarrassing third did make a good save here though from Danny Caligiuri unfortunately Nabil Fakir wasn't able to close the ball down at the back post and slide in to give us a 3-0 lead and a comfortable look to the tie in with what in with what in in a game which to be fair was quite a comfortable one and in fact Caligiuri kind of ran out of space here cheeky scoop turn to open up the space again though and I don't really know how Luis Gustavo has been able to win that header in uh, quite that fashion but I'm glad he did because that did give the game a comfortable look and a 3-0 scoreline and all three points were heading our way so we mentioned we were going to have a tougher game coming up at the end of this episode after obviously playing a game against Juventus at the beginning. Another week's worth of drills, though, to be simulated before we get going. Trying to get Danny Caligiuri up one more rating, as you can see on the left. Unfortunately, though, he got an F, so he stays at 78. Nicolas Sula, though, growing nicely. Fakir is uh, still 79 rated and uh, only got a D rating there. But after Juventus at the beginning, it's now time for Bayern Munich. We mentioned that they've lost Alaba to go to Juventus, but obviously you'll have seen in last night's episode, they made a rather large signing up top, and he actually starts for them here. They're in second, we're in fourth in the league. But currently, I love these extra little graphics. You can see that we have the best defensive record in the league, joint with Schalke with three goals. But as you can see, as part of their attacking midfield, Neymar, number 27, out wide on the left-hand side. £83 million signing for Bayern Munich. It's nice to see that Iron Robin hasn't gone to PSG in this series, which is something that he has done in the My Player and in the Atleti stream series and in the Chelsea series as well. So at least he stays here at Bayern Munich. So we're facing a fairly familiar Bayern Munich side, although obviously with the lack of uh, Alaba and the addition of Neymar, it will be a slightly different uh, encounter. But obviously, uh, in real life, Bayern just destroyed Wolfsburg. Uh, obviously, uh, it was actually in this exact fixture uh, Wolfsburg went 1-0 up thanks to a, a lovely shot from Danny Caligiuri in the first half. And then Robert Lewandowski came off the bench at half-time, scored in the 51st minute, 
to make it 1-1 and by the time the 60th minute came around nine minutes later it was 5-1 and he'd scored every single one of those five goals madness absolute madness from Robert Lewandowski in this fixture in real life hoping that he doesn't repeat that here we almost got ourselves off to a great start there unfortunately the shot from Scherler was actually hit his teammate Max Cruiser who was offside but it was a brilliant reaction save from Neuer to turn it onto uh, the post regardless of whether it took a deflection or not in fact maybe if it took a deflection it uh, proved that it was an even better save but Guy Levogi with his second chance of the game there but another comfortable save for Neuer this one Neuer couldn't get anywhere near but unfortunately for Ricardo Rodriguez the free kick uh, comes back down off the bar I love the way that the uh, the uh, you know vanishing spray stays on the pitch for a while though it's the little it's the, we've said this a few times this year it's the little additions to career mode that just make it that much better this year I'm really enjoying career mode and in fact there's been a lot of YouTubers that have been ultimate team based they're actually dabbling in career mode this year which can only be good for the career mode scene because the more people playing the better it is the more popular it's going to be on YouTube but they've really nailed career mode this year I think yes it's more difficult and yes I am struggling to get hand you know to really be successful on uh, world class because obviously at the minute I'm playing on professional we're being successful now on professional in all of our series but I'm going to have to I think what I'm going to do is step it up to world class on stream so that I can effectively practice every night because I stream every evening I can practice on world class every night and we might struggle a little bit with the Atleti stream series to begin with but if I can at least for one of my series be playing on world class just to improve then uh, once we get good enough there then we can step it up on YouTube to world class as well and we really will be uh, you know doing fantastically well we're continuing to do well though in this series that point actually moved by on top of the league although obviously as you can see Schalke do have a game in hand so they can go back top even with just a draw thanks to uh, the goal difference but we stay fourth but we can obviously drop down to uh, fifth if Borussia Dortmund get a victory or even a yeah no it will have to be a victory because our goal difference is better but if they get a, a victory in their game in hand then uh, obviously they'll go uh, above us and Borussia Mönchengladbach can pull further away as well as they have a game in hand hopefully they're playing each other you know a mixture of those top three that are with us in the top five so hopefully uh, we won't lose ground on all three of them but uh, that's going to bring today's episode to a close guys thank you very much for watching drop the video a like if you enjoyed of course as always subscribe if you haven't already check the channel page for anything you may have missed whether it be the my player that went up earlier on today or this series that went up last night or the chelsea series that went up yesterday as well obviously you can see on screen all the links to my uh, my social media etc they're all down below in the description so follow me on twitch twitter and facebook and obviously like i've mentioned uh, earlier on in the stream I, earlier on in the stream, earlier on in the video, I stream every evening as well over on twitch.tv forward slash Chesnoy Gaming. So follow the links down below to that as well. And that will uh, hopefully mean that we'll uh, gain some more followers over there as well. But that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Drop the video a like, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time.